Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are looking at the surface area of a cube today. We're going to talk about calculating the area of a square, and from there we're going to talk about the surface area of a cube, do a little bit of practice, and then we will be done. So the area of a square, you've seen this one before, I changed the color of the square, but um, this the area of a square is the surface space of the two-dimensional shape. It's measured in squares. And so you can see this example here that um, a three by three square, that's three inches, three centimeters by three centimeters, would have nine squares covering it if those squares are all one centimeter by one centimeter. The way that you calculate this is you just multiply the side times the side. Perhaps you noticed that on the previous slide. 3 times 3 is 9, and it took 9 squares to cover it. So if I have four, um, a square that's 4 centimeters by 4 centimeters, my area equation is the area is equal to the side squared, or the side times the side. So that's 4 squared. 4 times 4, which is 16 square centimeters. And look at that, it does take um, 16 squares to cover this rectangle. Or square, I'm sorry, to cover this square. So that's the equation. Again, you multiply the sides using this equation to calculate the area of a square. So go ahead and pause the recording, try and solve this one. See if you can find the area of this square that has a side length of 5. All right, so if you did 5 squared, that's 5 times 5. You should get five, 25 square centimeters inside of this square. Okay, you notice I didn't go beyond that because I can't draw squares in a straight line. All right, now we're going to change topics and go to a cube. A cube is a three-dimensional solid that has squares on all sides. All of the sides are equal length. All of the faces are squares. This is a cube. So the surface area is like painting all the sides of a solid. So the sur if I'm calculating the surface area, I'm going to calculate the area of the square. And the great thing about a cube is that all of the sides are exactly the same area. All of them are the same square. So if I calculate the area of one of them, I can just multiply it times six because there's six sides on a cube. That's really nice for us. All right, so the surface area of a cube is actually very easy, much easier than the surface area of a rectangular prism or, or other, um, like a, a cylinder or something crazy like that. This one here is pretty straightforward. We find the area of one side and then you multiply it times six because all six sides have the same area. Let me show you an example. I have a cube here, a nice yellow looking cube, um, and it has a side length of 13 inches. If I'm asked to find the surface area, I will use this equation. The surface area is six times the side squared. Side squared is the area of the square, and I'm multiplying it times six because there's six sides on a cube, six faces. All right, so the surface area is 6 times 13 times 13. I want to briefly describe these parentheses here. If you have a 6, 6 times s squared, we will solve the s squared part first. So when I write it out, I put it inside of parentheses, but this still means 6 times whatever that amount is. So we multiply 13 times 13, that's 13 squared, and that'll give you 169. And then I'm going to take that amount and multiply it times 6. That gives me 1,014 square inches. That's the number of inches over the entire thing. Now, I look at these numbers. 169 is the surface area or the area of any side. 13 by 13 is 169 square inches. Then I'm multiplying that times 6 because there's 6 sides on a cube. So the surface area of the entire cube is 1,014 square inches. Now it's time for you to practice. Here you have this white cube. I want you to find the surface area. I'm going to give you the equation. 
go ahead and pause the recording, solve for the surface area of this white cube. Welcome back. Is this the first step? The side length is 7. So it's 7 squared, or 7 times 7, which is 49. 49 is the area of one side of this cube. The full surface area, then, we find by multiplying 49 times 6. 49 times 6 gives us 249 square inches. So that would be the total surface area of this cube. Pretty straightforward. All right. One more practice with this cute little pink um, cube. I want you to find the surface area. This time I'm not going to give you the equation. I want you to go ahead and solve that, pause the recording, and then come back when you have a solution. Are you back? Do you have a solution? Did you really pause it and do it? I hope so. You won't get anything out of it if you don't. There's the equation. The surface area is 6 times the area of a square, side squared. So um, 6 times the side length squared, that's 2 times 2. 6 times 4 is 24. In my math class it is at least. So my surface area is 24 square centimeters. That would be the paint that it would take to cover the outside of this cube. That's it. We did area of a square. And then if you found the area of a square, you multiply that times 6 to find the surface area of a cube. Pretty straightforward. Remember to practice, 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 and you'll get really good at that. Have a wonderful day. I hope that lesson was helpful for you.